What's up guys, Chris here. Changing it up a little bit and going towards the trail running side of things. We're checking out the Speedcross 5 GTX. So this is Solomon's go-to trail running shoe all year round. They make a Gore-Tex version and now they make a non-Gore-Tex version. Previous years, they made a Gore-Tex version, a Climber Shield version, which was essentially waterproof for the first toe of your, of your shoe. And then they made the breathable one. Now they've gone to a simpler setup and now they've got the Speedcross GTX for waterproofing and uh, a regular kind of breathable all-purpose one. So I'm gonna check out the Gore-Tex version today because it is coming on winter here. Hugely popular shoe with us. Um, it's got a crazy amount of traction to it. This rubber stays soft even in fairly cold temperatures. We're talking minus 40 degrees Celsius here. So fairly cold and it stays grippy and soft. This contour grip they've got in here works fantastic. They do have a few options with um, carbide spikes in it, but in the perfectly smooth asphalt or concrete, those carbide spikes can actually cause a little bit of slickness to it. So unless you know you're running on more ice than anything, really packed streets and stuff, this is our go-to. You have traction facing backwards for downhill descents and makes it easier to catch you, always gonna have grip. And then also pointing forwards so that when you're climbing, you can have a ton of traction or just moving yourself forward. So the Gore-Tex one is, as it says, Gore-Tex. It is a technology which is in tons of things now. This makes it waterproof to a degree and breathable. So the nice thing about the shoe being slightly breathable but waterproof is it's gonna stop the snow from melting on your foot or puddles splashing in and getting to you, but it's also gonna stop 90% of the wind, if not all of it, from breaking through. You really only need kind of a thicker sock and you can make it through most of the winter in a shoe like this. If you're going through a big hike where you're climbing a mountain, going through streams, it's also breathable enough that you manage to make it through with this. If you're hiking in the desert, I wouldn't look at the Gore-Tex version. They do have a quick lace to it here, so you easily just pop it up, push it down, really handy for when you have mitts on. And they even have a little storage compartment on the toe box here to uh, store that away so it doesn't kind of flap around while you're running. Overall, the fit of this is fantastic. It has a 10 mil drop, so you're getting a pretty big heel drop on it. Makes for a lot of comfort for a lot of people, more heel impact as well. It makes you more stable on the rougher terrain. Instead of landing with your toes and rocking back and forth, you're always landing a little more flat or a little more even across your whole foot, making for stability. Laterally, it's a fairly stiff shoe, still pretty flexible and natural feeling, but on that rougher terrain, again, it's not gonna twist an ankle as easy as, say, a running shoe. You get more durability around the lower half of it. This is with the non-Gore-Tex version too, to again, add a bit more durability and security to the actual shoe upper, to the shoe lower. This makes, again, for off-road use a lot better. You're not gonna be rolling out of the shoe or rolling off the shoe when going over roots or on a harsh incline. Um, they look nice, they have a nice heel, it's nice and high, even the sides of them are slightly higher than a running shoe to help prevent snow and dirt from getting into them. They do make a specific gaiter for this, which is cool, so it mounts right to it. The base of it says Solomon, I just noticed, which is kind of cool. The Speed Cross every year gets better and better. The five came out last year and they have done a fantastic job keeping it to it. And the six is not out yet. I assume when it comes out, there's gonna be a major change. When they went from the three and four to five, it was a pretty big facelift to it. Not a huge change in the overall dynamic of the shoe. Um, overall, they come with a really fantastic fitting shoe. Most people you'll see wear them for a long term afterwards. They come with an Orthlite liner to it, so a little more shape and comfort to it than say your standard running shoe with just a flat piece of foam there. The Orthlite ones definitely, although not anywhere near like an orthotic, will add a lot more comfort to your run. Overall, if you're looking for a running shoe that is just comfy and you need a lot more traction to it, the Speed Cross. If you're looking for one for worse and worse conditions, whether that's mud, water, snow, the GTX is the one to go for now. Getting rid of that climber shield made a lot of sense. There is really no use for it. adding Gore-Tex over the whole shoe where you get waterproofing to a degree and breathability to the same degree is a fantastic fit for this shoe. 
highly recommend you go down and try some on. Even if you're just doing high speed walking, this is a great shoe or long distance hikes during the summer. This is a super comfy shoe and uber lightweight. So there's none of that super heavy kind of boot you'd have to wear or a big tall hiker. You get a nice lightweight comfy shoe which actually works for you. All right guys, that's Chris with his first shoe review. Hopefully this helped you out in narrowing down what this shoe's about and what it's used for. Um, I highly recommend the Speed Cross. Insanely comfy. Honestly, when you pick it up, you feel how stiff it is. You think it won't be comfy, but it's a surprisingly soft, cushy shoe. Insane amount of traction, which you notice on and off the trail. And the quick lace is just fun, frankly. So hopefully you like this video. Comment below if you'd like to see another review on shoes or if there's any questions you have. And as always, good luck.